it's time to honor our chief guest of today's evening who has graced this event by her presence. So I kindly request uh, chief guest for today's evening, Lady Sarojini Jagnachi and Honorable Mrs. Tanya Jyoji to kindly come on the stage. And token of appreciation, our special guest. Ko Sirupa Vavke will present a sari as a token of appreciation to our chief guest, uh, Lady Sarojini Jagnaji, and Vandana will present. The sari that is being presented today to our chief guest is sponsored by Grace and Lace Clothing, and we thank Sirupa, the owner of Grace and Lace, for this gesture. Thank you so much. dry wash, 
the polish your sari if it is with golden thread. They polish it. So you see how it is useful to have it sad. Now you go to a reception, you go to a wedding, you go anywhere. You can wear the same sari. It's not like a dress if you go to a wedding, different dress. If you go to reception, different type of dress. A sari goes everywhere. No, no function, especially for this or that. You wear a sari in any, any place you want to be. So, you see how saris are useful. Not only useful. Now, if you don't want the sari also. Now I am seeing uh, some people, they do the uh, sarwal kameez. They, 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 they cut it and they do the sarwal kameez. This, this also, even so, it becomes useful. So you see what is a sari. The, sari, the lifetime of a sari is perhaps more than the lifetime of the same person. It is so, so useful, I should say. And now, we, what we have? Some people, they say, I have bought that salary for 50,000 rupees. Others say for 50 rupees. But it depends on who is wearing the salary. <laughs> height with everything what the person is. Don't never copy. You have a sari, you buy you, you wear your sari and oh madame thank you. Thank you, thank you. No place is here in front. <laughs> so you see how beautiful saris are? Huh? And then nobody can tell, oh, you are rich or you are poor. Nobody can tell that. Because the sari is so nice on the person, even if it is for 50 rupees. And sometimes for 50,000 rupees, <laughs> I, I tell you, you, you are embarrassed, perhaps. Am I right? Yes. yes. Yeah. So this is the life of a sari. How when you wear a sari, you must, you must do the work that that person has done for having that sari. I have been visiting old people weaving without any catalog. It's in the head. It's here. And they do the saris beautifully with all the design, with all the colors, with whatever you want. They will do the sari the same, and very old people working day and night to perhaps the, that sari, that old person, how, how much he got? 500 rupees. And when you go to the shop, the same sari, it's 5,000. You see, but you think about the person that has done the weaving. Because of him that you are wearing the sari. It's not because of the price that you pay in other shop that you are wearing the sari. So you are feeding people. Behind that sari, you are feeding a family. And this is the way I, I see myself when I visit places like this in India, everywhere you go, you, you know, uh, they, they will tell you here, uh, the Gujarati, they wear this type of sari, colorful, always dancing with the colors in the sari. You go to perhaps uh, to the south, 
You see the thick silks, thick, very thick silks, very nice. You go to Kashmir, you have your ring, you can put your sari in that ring and it goes on the other side. It is so soft. So this is the life of this time. We must be very careful when we are wearing a sari, not waste the sari, not, not embarrass yourself, putting yourself in a sari like, you know, you are wearing anything that can be damaged or that. The sari must be, you must respect the sari. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that is my way of seeing people. Because I know I have, I have saris I should take for 15, since my mother, right? 63 years, all my saris that my mother gave me are still here, are still in the cupboard, and I wear them. I go to India and wash them, I dry clean them, bring back and wear it, and some people say, where did you buy this? <laughs> <laughs> I say, I bought it, you must ask my mother. <laughs> So, friends, Behendis, I should say, eh? you are all my Behendis. So, I should say a big congratulations for asking us to join all these big uh, gatherings, wearing green sari, because we are talking of climate change, green, green. Uh, Miss Tanya Diol is wearing a sari with beautiful leaves and branches. <laughs> and, uh, I noticed that when I came, I said, you are wearing a sari, like, you know, it's in the environment. So we have been given also flowers. Thank you very much for the beautiful flowers that uh, was offered to us. And thank you, of course, for the gift. I don't know what is inside. And if it is a sari, I said, thank you, I'll, I'll take care. Of, of what you have given me, and enjoy yourself. You always wear the sari with much respect. Thank you.
beautiful ladies in sarees. Thank you so much for having me and I would love to apologize for two things. One, I was late because I had some events in the constituency and now, uh, secondly, because I'm not wearing green. You can see, I've been running around in this sari at Kavadi hair, so I had to be like in the covils and you know, that's why I'm even wearing a heel. So I really wanted to be here because I think it's, it's, it's very, very special today. As Lady said it very well, that you need to wear a sari with pride, and I do wear it with pride, though I don't really know how to tie it. I try to, but I always have my Sasuma or my mother who's helping me. Like in, I'm sure all the ladies joking here par hai will definitely agree with me. Driving with a sari is very complicated. Hena. So I try to find people who can just help me, you know, stitch it so that I can just drive easily and just wrap it around me. But no one has not got that who can do this for me. So if you know anyone who can just do it for me, please help me in that. But I would love to, to share with you that it is part of the beauty of a woman to wear a sari. Just like the MC said it very well. Whether you are moti or patli, whatever it is, when you are wearing a sari, it's always elegant and it's always beautiful. You can never go wrong when you are wearing a sari. Whether it's a sleeveless or a backless, whatever it is, it's always stylish. So I think it's one of my favorite outfit, definitely. Although I do say that I am a little bit tomboy, sometimes I wear jeans too. I almost all the time jeans wear lady when I feel like being a lady then I do wear the, the sari but keep wearing the sari with pride and of course keep being elegant as you are and I will always say that you'll never be wrong with the sari. Thank you again for organizing such a beautiful event. I think it's celebrating the culture and it's celebrating the environment as well so I think it's a great initiative. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.